be gone. There she is, the new Miss USA, Arbany Gabriel. Fresh from her crowning moment, she sits down with TFC News for this very special TFC News conversation. Thank you for talking to us, Arbany. The new Miss USA 2022, just, I mean, the pageant was less than two weeks ago. Just how has the ride been since you were crowned? Well, I immediately flew to LA and I've been here ever since. It has been extremely fun. We're very busy and we're just planning for universe and advocacy for Smile Train, Best Buddies, and expanding my sewing workshops to give people opportunities. So it's been a whirlwind, but I love it. I love how you mentioned sewing workshops because I saw you were hanging out. These kind of like our goat for fashion design, Oliver Tolentino, the other day, right? Yes, I was able to connect with him. He's a Filipino designer, so he has amazing creations. And because I am the first Filipino American Miss USA, he reached out to me. We were able to connect and hopefully work together in the future. Nice. I'm glad. Yeah, what? How, how's winning been for your clothing line? It's, I love your clothing line, but especially the um, Babae tribe uh, portion. Just oh, thank yeah. you. I've able, to, I've been able to sell out of a lot of my pieces. I have sustainable T-shirts that say "If not now, then when," and that's just one of my favorite sayings because I'm a go-getter and I want everybody to ask themselves that question when they have goals or anything they want to do in life. So I've been able to sell out of those in a few of my handmade dresses. So it's been really amazing so far. I'm working on restocking it. Yeah, are you going to be able to design while you're kind of preparing for Miss Universe? Absolutely. I'm going to be busy, but I'll carve out time as much as possible and somehow fit it in because that's part of my identity and who I am. Nice. And yeah, I like how you mentioned the identity because <laughs> in all your media interviews, ever since you won Miss Texas also, you've proudly represented your Philippine uh, roots. Just, I mean, how important was it to have this to kind of represent during these moments? Well, I think it's so important to tell your story and who you are. I'm a Texas Filipina. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud to be a Texan. And also, Filipinos, as you know, they love pageantry. They're the biggest supporters. And I just want to show them that I love them and kind of tell the world and America who we are. We're hardworking. We have a rich culture of amazing food, amazing style, amazing fashion. And I think America needs to know more about it. So, well, according to Wikipedia, did you, you started in 2020? <laughs> in 2020, yes. So I started at age 26, a little bit late in the pageant game, but because I was a little bit older, I felt a sense of urgency, and I really just hunkered down and focused because I said, I have two years to do this whole thing. So if, if anything, I've used that to my advantage, being a little bit older, and I won at age 28, which is the last year of eligibility. Mm -hmm. why, why later? That's like post-college life for the most... <laughs> Kids. Yes, it was post-college and you know, it kind of just happened organically. I was never really familiar with pageants and what they stood for. I was more a model in the fashion world and I met somebody actually at a hair shoot that said, hey, you should do a pageant and I kind of started diving deeper, looking at beauty queens, looking at Catriona Gray and Pia and former Miss USA's like Deshauna Barber and I loved the way they could 